Hey everyone, it's that time again. I spent most of this week working on other projects, um, but I spent a little bit of time on a project that I can actually show you and isn't super top secret. Uh, working on the racing game, I worked on the car controller a bit to make it a little more stable. Uh, I still need to do some work in that regard, but I can actually drive around in it now, and it now has brakes. Uh, and I also changed the tile set so that the hills were a bit smoother, and it, if there was a hill next to a hill, like just up here, you can see it's smooth as opposed to the sort of direct V-shape that was before, which means I can actually traverse those a bit easier now. Um, and I added, added brakes and brake lights, and I added headlights. It can be toggled, so now you drive around. I also um, changed the procedure generation, and now the maps that it generates are quite a lot bigger. Um, yeah, still haven't done any work at all on the kind of camera controller. I need to sort of get on that pretty quickly because uh, I did have it down to, oh, this is going to be a top down racer eventually, but I needed to move it to this sort of angle so that you can actually see what's going on because now the roads cross over a heck of a lot and if the car went under one you just could not see anything. Uh, I'm working on a solution to that and the camera controls probably next week and hopefully I'll have something that will work and sort of zoom in and out based on speed, let you see where you are and see the road around you even if there's something in the way of the camera through some method. I haven't quite decided which method yet but you can see the maps are quite a lot bigger than they uh, have been previously. Everything is going pretty peachy. Yeah, have a quick drive around. Get to a decent position. Mm. Oh, off. Ah, I got a nice smooth hill here. Got to slow down so I don't get airborne because that can cause problems. Oh, I must ended up on my back there. So, yeah. And that's pretty much the size of it this week. Um, I'll just uh, pause and show the actual map. That, it's, that I've got generated up now. Pretty big! This has got quite a few um, different paths in it, a few different branches, like it's a, it's a bit of a maze. So lots of things can be done in this map and I was testing the uh, testing sort of the limits of the procedural generation and things like that in terms of size of the tiles that I've got. It'll start to look more visually interesting when I get around to making more tiles but I'm trying to get the controls and the actual generation of it with um, a basic tile set that allows me to build all kinds of directions and different connections in the maze first before I start adding visual variety and things like that and so there we go that's probably about it for me this week uh, I'll just try and find a, a glorious jump to end on I think I've just uh, I think I'll just use this one if I can zoom up this hill Ooh. then this one here should do Oh, I landed safely. That wasn't meant to happen. Anyway, there we go. See you next week.